What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the second part of the Altar of Reflection quest. Now this is not as finicky or as difficult as the first part to start the quest. This is kind of a simple puzzle. Uh, this is going to be kind of what we experienced in the campaign, but instead of shooting the emblems, you're actually going to go stand in a pool that is represented by the emblems you see in front of me. So what you're going to do is read your emblems from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen, and then you're going to go stand in the correct pool. Uh, these emblems may be random, so I'm not sure if you're going to see the exact same emblems that I have here on screen, so keep that in mind. But like I said, what you're going to do is start with the, uh, you know, the emblem farthest on the left, go stand in it, and then just go kind of down the line from left to right. And you're going to have to do this twice. Now, if you stand in the wrong pool, you will know it. Uh, it will give you kind of a warning on the screen. But if you do stand in the correct part, you will see it kind of pop up here as it's flashing here on the screen. And you need to do this times four. So you will see each time uh, that I step in, it will go times two. And then, of course, it's going to go times three and times four. Now, the first step is very easy, or the first part of this is the easiest. The second part tries to confuse you a bit more by putting more pools out. As you can see right now, we don't have that many pools available. But you will see here, once I've done it the first time, it will start again, and this time we're going to have a lot more pools out around us to the left and right. So once again, start the left side, uh, you know, the left emblem, and go from left to right. But as you're going to see here in just a second, as I turn around, that there's a lot more pools available. So it's just trying to mess you up. Some of the emblems look somewhat similar. I think it's trying to get you kind of confused. But like I said, this is not as difficult as it was to start the quest, in my opinion. And this is all you have to do to go on to course to fight the boss. But I just want to kind of want to give you guys an idea of what's going on here. Like I said, make sure that you're checking your emblems because they're probably not going to be the same as mine so don't think you you come to this video you're going to have the exact same emblems i do i would guess they're going to be random they may not be but just just kind of my thought on it i, I figure that's how it's going to be for their emblems are not going to be the same for everyone but always make sure you start to the left and go from left to right and like i said you'll do it twice and you'll do it times four once you do that the door will unlock i'm going to let the video play on out so you guys can kind of see me unlock the door so you make sure that you have everything figured out on your end but I was going to go ahead and let you guys know this is pretty easy to do. It's just a little, like I said, they're trying to confuse you a little bit. But once you get the hang of it, it's not that hard at all. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.